Here's a hot take. The Bumblebee movie is the weakest film in the entire Transformers franchise. Is it the worst? No, but it's far from being the best one that they've released. Thankfully, the toys have been super good so far, except for maybe a few. Is Shockwave bad, though? Not at all. I actually think he's really good. And it makes me wish this thing was a Voyager size instead of being a Legends, Core, Scout, whatever class they're calling it now. The look of Shockwave here, though, was really, really good. For how small it is, there's way more detail than I thought there ever would be in something of this size class. Does it set a standard or anything? I mean, not really, but it just... It looks super good. The proportions, coloration, the bits of details are just, they're all incredible. Like for a core class or scout, whatever, this thing looks fantastic. The weapon he comes back with is his hand cannon. And it's also a parts forming piece, which I can understand if people don't like that because then it becomes mandatory parts forming and mandatory parts forming to complete the alternate mode is a deal breaker for some people. But I think for how small the figure is and the alternate mode that Shockwave has, I can at least forgive it, but I can see how others wouldn't really care for this too much. Articulation here is pretty good. It's nothing super crazy. I do wish he had a waist rotation or maybe an ankle tilt to help some poses out, but it's not terrible at all. For figures this small, I never expect anything super crazy, but this one instant does leave me kind of wanting. Transformation here is pretty simple. It's not anything really complex at all. I didn't need instructions for this guy either, and usually I throw away the instructions since Hasbro's instructions are kinda garbage anyways, and thankfully this guy has a very easy, kind of intuitive way you can figure it out without instructions or anything like that. So you know, not too bad, not too simple, but not too complicated. The cyber tank mode is really cool, it reminds me of the tank mode that he had in Transformers Prime, only the conversion to get to this mode is different from those original toys as far as I can see. And what's really cool is the tank can rotate on the same joint that the head is on, which is also hilarious that the cannon goes on the same place as the head is. It's just, <laughs> just kind of funny to me. Overall, this is a really good figure. Sure, it's small, and I'm sure everyone else wanted this to be a much larger figure than it is, but it's not bad by any means. Hopefully one day soon that we can get a Voyager-sized version of this figure or some, like, oversized knockoff. But until then, this is a really good shock wave to have into the collection. And personally, I'd give this guy an overall 9.5 out of 10 and a super hard recommendation. That's really all I have, so make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you're so inclined, please follow my social media pages down below in the description. And with that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, week, month, life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!